Hey everyone, the lock I've got today is a Sargent large format interchangeable core that was sent to me uh, a bunch of months ago by RJ Robert James. By the way, if you haven't checked out his channel, uh, it's a great channel with a lot of really cool locks. Um, so, LFIC, here's our control ring and our control block. I guess that's what they call it. Anyway. Um, this lock's been kind of sitting around. Oh, also, uh, challenge lock giveaway at the end, so make sure to stick around. <clears throat> um, this lock's been kind of sitting around my drawer for a while, and I haven't done too much with it. But I pulled it out today, and I had a uh, really good time with it. And um, I, I've been wanting to develop my skills in a way uh, that I can take an LFIC core and choose choose the shear line. I want to be able to pick it to control or operating at my discretion. And so um, I thought I would use this as a lock to work on that uh, with, uh, that skill with. And so uh, and that's what I've been doing. And so um, I thought I'd explain a little bit about what I'm doing and try and, and, uh, and, try and get it to uh, the, the control shear line first and then the operating shear line second and we'll gut it. And so what really differentiates the shear line that your lock picks on is the pin that you start with uh, and the tension. And so in this case, this lock favors the uh, operating control line when I start off with pin 6 and the uh, control shear line when I, pick, when I start off with pin uh, 4, I believe. And so wanting to pick it to control... I just start off with pin four and apply a little bit more than heavy, ten more than average tension, heavier than average tension. And I picked the lock to uh, its control shear line. You can see that by this um, control block having retracted. And so now let's see if we can pick it to its operating shear line. <clears throat> and again, Picking pin 4 got me to favor the control shear line. Picking pin 6 tends to get this lock to, pit to favor the operating shear line. So I'm going to start on the way back. And again, lots of tension. I got it to control again. I must have accidentally set one. And thing too is the lock will pick differently. It'll feel like a different lock. I think we're just about there. Coming down the final stretch, you can back off on the tension a little. There we go, and we picked it to operating. So there's an operating, well, two control and an operating pick um, on the same lock. <laughs> um, so let's pay, let's gut it, and see what's inside. It's always great when you can learn something new about a lock, you know. Um, even if it's not a particularly tough lock, and I'm not going to say this is an easy lock because it isn't, um, but it's a. Uh, You know, it's all these locks can teach us something. Even if it's one we feel like we've picked a lot before, and um, we feel like maybe we've even mastered. And so, it's kind of fun to be able to go back and learn something new. One thing I would like to learn is how to reliably get off circlips. <laughs> oh, okay, that's on the floor. 
Um, all right. So take a look at our key pins. Looks like we got two key pins in chamber one. One key pin in chamber two. One key pin in chamber three. Oops. One and four. One and five. And what do we got in six? Looks like just one and six. And this is a stock, pretty stock core, and nothing's nothing too scary going on. All right, single pin in one, single pin in two. Looks like we got a master master wafer in, and a standard pin in four. Uh, another master wafer and standard pin. Oh, two master wafers. Two master wafers and a standard pin. And four. And let's see. Five is just a standard pin. And I'm going to come in from the other side on six. Oops. No, I'm not. I'm going to bend my springs if I do. <laughs> uh, stuff gone everywhere for six. All right, so we got one master wafer, one standard. That felt like I had something hit my hand. Oh, it's right here. Two master wafers. And I think that's it. That should be it anyway. Oh, no, three master wafers. There's another one. So three master wafers and a standard in pin six, position six. Okay, so there is, uh, let's knock the pins out of here, or the springs. Here's your control ring. You can see those two pins that control it. Um, nothing threading or anything going, no threading or anything going off here. And so, yeah, it's a sergeant, a pretty standard setup. Not a tricky, or not a uh, not a trivial pick though, because I don't know if you can see this. The there's some pretty substantial warding here and there, and you really have to come at this lock sideways. About well, that's not quite a 45 degree angle, but pretty close. I was picking off this warding here. And so, uh, yeah, not a trivial lock to pick, but most importantly. There's a control and an operating pick in the same video, along with a gut. So that was kind of fun. All right. As promised, we have a challenge lock. This one's not finished yet, uh, but it's one I'm making. And so if you'd like this challenge lock, it won't come with a key. Uh, it's a Y1 key, a Yale Y1 key. Um, if you have a key blank, maybe you can make one for it. Um, but anyway, answer this riddle, and I will get it out to you. Thanks for watching.